Okay, so welcome back to the discussion on symmetry and in this session we are going to have a look whether there are figures or objects which exhibit both line symmetry as well as rotational symmetry and we will be building up on the previous example of the square that we took in our earlier sessions for describing the line symmetry as well as rotation symmetry. Okay, so it is definitely possible for an object to have both the line symmetry as well as the rotational symmetry and you could have easily made this by the earlier examples that we learned about the square that a square has a four lines of symmetry and let me just draw it quickly here so that you can just revise it so this was the first line again this is not being drawn exactly so but it is fairly indicative so these are the four lines of symmetry these lines one two three and four so the square had a four lines of symmetry and we also when we were discussing the rotational symmetry we figured out that it has a rotational symmetry of order four that is we take this point p here and rotate this square in angles of 90 degree each and we complete four such rotations of 90 degree each when the uh, and the point p will come back here and we will find that there are four such rotations for which the square looks same and therefore we say that it has a rotational symmetry of order 4. So it's just a small note and an important observation is the most symmetrical figure that you can think of is nothing but a circle. Now just think why is it a most symmetrical figure? What, what would be the ideal symmetric figure? If you just think of it, how can I define that symmetry ideally? Okay, so it would be something like, okay, we have seen that some figures just have one line of symmetry. Even in terms of rotational symmetry, if you see, uh, they will be having a few, uh, I mean, there will be an order of symmetry of, of four or three, depending on whatever the angles are. Or the worst case symmetry that uh, rotational symmetry that it can have is one. Any object will have definitely a rotational symmetry of one because when we move it, rotate it by 360 degrees if you remember it will come back to its original position and hence every object is said to possess a rotational symmetry of order 1 but the circle is definitely a different case and it's in a very exceptional case the reason is it has unlimited lines of symmetry and you can prove this yourself draw a circle or you can just have a perfect circular shape this is definitely not a good circle drawn here by me but no matter however I cut it from whichever angle I cut it as long as it is passing through the center you will see that the circle will always be symmetrical along the lines of symmetry as a thing not only that it also has unlimited order of rotational symmetry along its center which means that no matter how small the angles you would rotate the circle in, it will still look the same. There is just no limit to the minuteness of the angle. And for normal cases, we just take it to be 1 degree, but even if it is less than 1 degree, it's less than, let's say, 100th of a degree, but still it will be looking the same. So hence, a circle has unlimited lines of symmetry and unlimited order of rotational symmetry along its center so it's the perfect symmetrical circle and you can just try to do this by observing any circular pattern so this brings us to the close or to the end of our discussion on symmetry and see you soon in the next session in which i'll be summarizing whatever we have learned